Hi. Oh my god, okay. I'm blind. Ha! <laughs> We've been recording for a second. I stare and wait at the, for the timer to click to one second sometimes. <laughs> um, but welcome in. Um. Um. So. First of all, cleanse your energy. Okay, hold on. Let me clean my camera. That's a little better. It looks a little better. Um, they cleanse your energy. Someone might be sending you some heebie-jeebies. Mm -mm. Get rid of them. Get rid of them. But, um... Have, hopefully you've been having a good day. Um... I want to dig into this energy, but I also have sage incense burning right now, so I'm kind of just letting it uh, do its thing. I will be back though, because I gotta do something real quick. Okay, well, welcome back. I mean, yeah. Uh, we're gonna jump into the energy, see what spirit wants to let you know. I don't have anything channeled. Um, I am being told that don't mess this up is what I'm hearing right now. Um, don't let someone screw you over. And I'm burning a bay leaf, so if you hear, like, noises, <laughs> that's what's going on. Um, I felt called to burn one, so here we are burning one. Um, but after I burn this, we'll get to it. This bay leaf's not wanting to cooperate and burn. So that's fine. I had a sigil written on it anyway, so that explains a lot. Ooh. Alright. Well, that was fun. I love, I love burning shit, dude. I love, I love doing stuff like this. Um. Yeah, we'll start with Panther. Panther's been calling my name. Let's see what's going on. Someone stopping a trap. That they were supporting to steal from yours. Okay. So, someone stopping a trap. Um, because you're still getting your blessings, or someone wants to. S yeah. So it's, it's, this is giving energy of a practitioner that knows that you're a good person, so they're stopping some sort of spell work. Curse, coach. Yeah, so this coach, there's a curse that this coach was desiring to do, some sort of illusion that they won. But someone's guilty, someone may have confessed something in the court of law because they were trying to sue someone or they got some sort of attention that they were trying to gain so they could travel somewhere. Or they traveled, okay. Someone wants your forgiveness. Because they have a bunch of attention on them that they gained for what they did, and they're stuck to something. So someone doesn't want to be seen as a bad person. Oh, boo-hoo. Boo-hoo. Someone doesn't want to be seen as a bad person. Then don't be a bad person. Simple as that. Simple as that. Don't be an asshole. You don't want to be seen like an asshole. Don't smell. <laughs> Spirits even like, yeah. <laughs> Spirits even like, yeah, y'all should just fucking stop. If you don't, if you don't want to be seen like something, then you shouldn't do it. Oh, I don't want to seem like I'm racist. Then don't be racist. What? Oh, I don't want to seem like I'm a, a bad person that tries to tear people down, like a, a slacker nobody. Then stop being a slacker nobody that steals from people and hurts people. Who would have thunk, right? Yeah, you're relaxed and you're getting this gift and there's a bully. Someone's being bullied because they know why they were doing this to you. So this is just jealousy. Someone's, it's, it's like. <laughs> Someone was trying to isolate you so they could manipulate you into going homeless. And that didn't work. So now this person wants these friends, these three people, 
I heard the name Danny. Danielle. Dawson. Samantha Katrina. Joey. Heavy on the Katrina. Someone they someone may have lost someone they cared a lot about and they know why it happened and they can't blame it on you. I just seen someone get punched in the face. What the fuck's going on here, spirit? What's going on here, spirit? What well, yeah. You should, you can feel happy that justice is here on these people that collaborated to strategize. You, the justice is coming to you from someone that got people to work together with them with some sort of plan, this married couple that wanted a house. Their goal was to strike luck and good news doing some sort of rituals on your blessings. Um... They were arranging for you to live in a nightmare, but you would draw because you care about yourself. You live and you learn someone is going, is, is going to. Someone may pass away due to some illness. Someone may be, someone has an idea that time is running thin. Someone keeps having outer body experiences that's causing them a lot of conflict robbery and accident and fright natural disasters bully someone thinks it's not fair that they're in danger and they're paranoid and scared because this is a big risk they're embarrassed and overloaded because they were bribed into attacking you because a professional spun them some sort of story they want to come to a compromise but they're too stubborn because they feel awkward. Someone's disappointed that you get sweet dreams and that they're disturbed. Or someone isolated is... Someone sees that you're isolated having sweet dreams and it's, like, irritating them. That you're okay. And this person doesn't want you to use your gifts to be relaxed anymore. This whole alliance is mad at you, sweetheart, because you love yourself. As a family member, that's a third will enemy that wants your help. This could be someone in your family that's also into the arts. If, if you're a reader, they're most likely a reader or an aspiring reader. They aspire to be something like you, like a witch or whatever, however you want to label yourself. They aspire to be you. They might come to you and say like, hey, I'm like your twin flame or I'm your, um, I'm your soulmate. Like, let's not leave each other. Yeah, but this is, I'm not making this up. Like, it's a trap. Hold on. Let me get those other cards out. Third, family, third will aid, fate, lost trap. Don't help these people out. A fated event is happening for these people. Stay calm. Your internal love is hidden. And someone that's been investigating, trying to find out what, what your next steps are, or is stress, stressed out. Because you're holding something close to you. This person is having a lot of ego issues. Their self-esteem is hurt because it's some sort of memory of you. Yeah. Their self-esteem is hurt because they thought this was going to be easy. Trying to make an introvert to go homeless because that's what they wished for. And now they don't know if they want to be part of this bribe anymore. Because someone told them that if you persevered, they would be locked up. Someone said... If... 
no way you're that fucking stupid. Someone, I literally seen it go down too. Someone said that if you did not do this, if you did not fall for their trap, they would get arrested. And someone said, no, we won't, like we won't fail. This is gonna be too easy. So this could also just talk about like, like a body, like a, someone being soul trapped, an entity only ha an entity having full on control over someone as well. Someone's gonna be a prisoner of their own life. I don't think that's. This person could be sixty years old. Someone's scared that you survived. Someone's paranoid that you su su uh, survived. They're surprised that you survived. This bully is getting ready to be trapped. And they ran right into a trap. There could be a group of friends. Oh my God. Someone has like some sort of Um, I don't know what disease that is. Oh. Infidelity. Infertility? Infertile? Someone can't have a child? Someone's cursed with not... Someone might have a miscarriage because of this curse. Someone's child may pass away because of this curse. This coach is my. Someone knows about this curse because they desired this to happen to you. They know what's about to happen to them, and that's perfect. Like, and spirit says that's okay. Well, yeah, I mean, shit. Stay calm. Someone in your energies weren't. Yeah, because your internal love is masked. And people are stressed out that they took bribes and were saving up money and trying to get money to hurt you out of their ego. These people never... Oh, evidence? Evidence stress savings, yeah. Someone's, have, someone's having a lack of sleep. Because they've collected something. STD. I heard HIV, but it said STD. They're scared, but they're hiding it. Justice is here, though. So someone's acting. These people love to act. Um, they can never be real with themselves, so what do you, they're never going to be real with anyone anyway. But they're acting like they're okay. They're acting like their life is perfectly like, you know, rose and candies. Um, their life is not... Like, this person's stressing out, not knowing what to do. Um... These friends are going to end up in an accident. A group of friends could get in a car accident. Um, oh my god, that's the sage. Sorry, there was like sage just like floating in midair. So there's definitely like an angel in here. And yeah, I know it sounds weird saying floating in midair, but it wasn't moving. Um... so cool i wish i wish you all could have seen it someone wants to apologize for collaborating out of their ego but they are trying to find a way to seem like they're calm and they want to compromise to you they don't want to take no for an answer because that will piss them off they know that you'll say no to them because you're self-love someone's daydreaming about being your internal love and getting victory and luck in this situation they're hoping to get good news out of doing some sort of ritual or uh, ceremony on you. So someone may be trying to do love spells on you, uh, make you feel a certain way about them so you don't want to leave them behind. But... Justice, accident, and loss. I'm sorry, it came out like that. Justice, accident, 
loss, someone's gonna lose something in an accident. Someone might literally have a car accident and leave this world. I've been sa Someone's gonna die in a car accident. I'm tired. I've been saying this forever. I've been picking it up. Someone in a white car. It is a white car. I'm not here to lie. It's a, It's either a white or a blue car. Or like a tan. Or like beige car. It's one of those, or like silver or something. It's one of those colors. Someone's gonna get in a fucking car accident. Something about their axle is gonna fuck up. I'm telling you. I'm not, pro I'm not trying to curse anyone. I'm just saying. I've been saying this for like months. You should go back to my video. I don't know which ones I've said it in, of course. But like, go back. I say it like, someone's gonna, someone's going to jail. Someone's going to get locked up. This is a nightmare situation for these people. This is karmic justice playing out. And around that time, a lot, around, I'm, I'm picking up, like, even, I'm just remembering stuff, too, because around the times when I used to say that someone was going to, like, you know, get in that car accident with their axe one shit, I remember a lot of t a lot of readings I would watch around that time as people, like, laughing and saying, oh, haha, you don't know what you're talking about, but now it's coming up again. And it was, con com it was confirmed with death after saying that, too. You might want to get your car fixed. You might want to just stop. Um, it's giving the energy of someone's going to on the way to going somewhere. And they just... They don't show up. It's dead. They're dead. I don't know why I've seen... Why are you showing me this shit? Why are you showing me everything? I don't want to see that ever again. Anyway... Because it's not even, like, even with my earbuds in, I'm, like, hearing, like, paramedics, like, saying, hey, wake up, wake up. And it's, like, not okay. It's not okay. Um, it's, like, I don't want to describe the whole scene, but there's, like, a traffic cone on the highway or freeway or something. It's either they flip... <laughs> I ain't gonna go into it, but it's either they flip their car um, or they hit someone else who got T-boned illness someone's sick because you love yourself and they're mad that you love yourself they feel awkward because of this disaster is going to happen to them but they have to accept that that's the news that they get for doing these rituals Yeah. Someone has to accept the fact. Someone has to accept the fact that you told them how their life was going to be with your gifts. Someone doesn't like that. Someone wants to say because you're an earth angel, you're a high vibrational energy, and you're full of love and light, that you shouldn't be saying that so-and-so is going to get in a car accident, or you shouldn't be saying so-and-so is an evil, dark energy, or so-and-so is spreading STDs, like something along this, like someone is mad that you are telling the truth, and they feel like you're controlling their life, but you're not, you're just reading the energy that's on their path, like they're, they're, per, they're on that pathway, they're linked up with that energy of having natural disasters happening in their life, because they were overindulgent, trying to gain by keeping you alone, be all because you loved yourself, you live and you learn. And these people need to learn that like, you're not controlling these people's life with some sort of magic they are choosing they have chosen the path to go down this they just they killed themselves they chose that they wanted this car accident right let's get, let's get if you want to talk about it let's talk about it because <laughs> they chose this they chose to die and hey you know i'm not trying to be mean or anything but they chose it the gods giving them warnings from multiple people, multiple readings saying the same thing, like, hey, you should probably stop this, something really bad is going to happen, we can't tell you what it is, certainly you're just saying one thing, other people are saying another thing, regardless, it's all bad, it's about endings, but they said, no, it's not going to happen, so they continue to be blind, and they're being puppeteered by their own ego, to the point where we're now, it's just like, no, well, you made your decision that you wanted to, you know, die, because you wanted to see it happen for yourself, so here you go, now you're going to witness it. 
sucks to, it really sucks to be these people it really sucks to be this energy in particular because this one i'm picking up on is very arrogant they're very self-centered and like self-righteous they feel like they're on top of the they feel like they're better than everyone because like they've met people their whole life who are lower than them because they're well lower energy energetic let's get real energetically they're lower than them because they mask how low their energy actually is um, so they meet people that seem lower than them rather than actually being lower than them. And they don't think it's fair that you had a mask on your energy. Um, they think that that's cheating. I want to redo. No, you don't get redos. God doesn't... God doesn't give you redos. Sorry. Well, you know, after this, after your karma, for I mean... You fucking survive. Let's get real. Not trying to curse no one. Again, I'm just saying what I'm picking up with these cards. Someone's disturbed because of these memories. They're living in a nightmare because they don't know when the fuck this stuff's gonna happen. They know they should have just withdrawn. Um, someone may be getting death readings, trying to find out when they're gonna die, how they're gonna die. In the car accident image comes in my head again so someone got a death reading found out that they're gonna die in a car accident and now they're like it's kind of scared because everyone's been trying to tell them hey you should probably stop and they made fun of you for telling like maybe you said someone's gonna get in a car accident or you you you've been hearing about something like that happening someone got a death reading to find out how they were gonna die like an akashic record reader and they straight up was like yeah your car wreck when it like someone doesn't know the date though that's fucked but then again someone didn't want you to know where you were gonna go when things were gonna happen to you and when or what so the the whole game is you don't get to know either we're playing with the halo 3 blind uh skull on you know you don't have your hud or your mini map you don't know where the fuck you're gonna go you don't know where anything is um collective i mean you do though you've I mean, since we're talking about Halo 3, you've ran the course, you know. I'm picking it up, like, the very first mission, too, um, that leads into the, the second one where you have to fight the two hunters in that bunker after saving the Marines. I don't remember the names of the missions. But it's giving that energy of, like, you've ran that course multiple times, and you're on this hardened or um, you're heroic or legendary uh, difficulty and you're running through this shit with blind on because you know you do this for fun and then someone hops on that grabs the second controller and goes oh yeah i can do this too and they're lost because you're way ahead of them and they're trying to like follow you it's it's like someone doesn't know what the fuck they're doing someone's like only watching you to find out what's gonna happen to them and the divine knows this so they're not telling people anything more than they need to know it's giving the energy of if someone's trying to get like a reading let's say someone gets a reading for themselves not like not even like a death ring we're just like what's going on in my energy i just have to know they're only being told things that they already know <laughs> they're not being told anything new they're being told things of everything they already know and it's like well i can't i'm sorry you know i can't tell you what's going on that they're not letting me and someone's getting pissed off thinking that everyone's a fake yeah someone what the fuck is this I, well, okay but someone thinks that someone everyone else is a someone thinks everyone's a fake reader so this person like if i'm fake reader then all of you all are fake readers too because they don't want to be proven wrong but so then they go to these people who they've trusted for years or like their their friends and colleagues who are readers and very high up in ranks and stuff and they're getting readings and or they're sending them to people who are like yeah so this is someone that like does really really good readings like high ranking readings and they can really help you out um find out more information and stuff like that and these people aren't able to read this person's energy as deep as they want i'm sorry this hair is like it needs to be on this side <laughs> but it's like this these they can't they're not they're unable to get any deeper on the energy than what's already happening and this person doesn't like that they think everyone they think they think that everyone's they feel like you've told people like since oh if you're a reader and you're a psychic and you're a medium you just know who i'm going to so you they think that you've talked to them 
and like shown them what they've done so that they don't tell them the truth. They think it's like a big gag on their life. I don't know who the fuck this person is very paranoid. They really think everyone's out to get them when it's only them. It's like their own actions. They just they don't realize that they're an auto projector. They project on people. This person just has a projection issue. They, instead of accepting the truth of the matters of hands, they project it on other people to make it feel like it's their fault. So instead of just realizing that it's their fault for all these bad things happening and the fact that they want to project their energy out to other people, it's, if they even fucking have any true energy, let's get real. You know, we'll talk about that later. Um, <laughs> But since they keep projecting their energy so much, they're only getting what they're giving, which is deflection. They don't want to know the truth. They don't care about the truth. They only care about what they know. So the universe says, you only care about what you know? Got you. We'll give you only what you know. Because what you give is what you get. You self-centered piece of... Finish the sentence. Because we're not going there today. (laughs) Right now, at least. But it's giving that energy, and someone doesn't want to accept that. So it's like they think everything's fake. They're having like a midlife. This person might be of the age range to have a midlife crisis, like in their fifties or thirties or however. But this person, no matter at the age, they're having a midlife crisis because they don't know what's real or fake anymore. Um, I mean, but they wanted to play this big catastrophic, uh, catas- whatever you know the word. This really big game that would destroy you and destroy your mentality. They wanted to play this game on you, but now they've only destroyed themselves. And they're trying so hard. They have, I've seen three red strings. They're on their, they only have three little threads left before they, whatever the fuck. They don't have much left, Um, which is, you know, no one's fault, but this person's like, this person might go into spiritual psychosis, which is a very real thing, um, because they just simply were not ready for the spiritual journey. Um, maybe they were dark spiritualists, you know, they don't, you know, fucking however they do, you know, oh, I believe in only negativity and the devil, and, you know, I'm I'm okay with being an asshole, because everyone else is an asshole too, um, type energy. They weren't ready to take the full spiritual spectrum in and it's like they did by messing with you because they didn't know about these realms for you they didn't give a fuck about them because it's like oh whatever maybe they even i'm hearing like someone in a masons might have tried to teach this person things about the higher realms and like how the whole thing works this person's like oh i don't care about that it doesn't matter and now they're about to get gobsmacked and threw out the like thrown away because like well you didn't pay attention to the full th- thing like you can't just pick and choose in the spiritual realm um I mean you can but it's like you know what I mean there are rules that everyone has to follow in the spiritual as well in the 3D and then then at that point you get to decide what you do and what you don't do and then you can pass on that responsibility as too much for you to bear onto other people or to throw it back in the barrel for other people to like pick and grab but res- despite whether you wanted to think about it or not it still affects you it's just up to you if you're going to take control to learn how to do this or ask for someone else to do it for you and that's perfectly fine either way but this person didn't want to hear any of that went down their own path um blind blindly um, but we're all blind to start a spiritual journey, but this person didn't want to take advice from anyone. They didn't listen to anyone. They only took things that they, rest, that they felt was good. Like, this is someone, this is a narcissist that tried to become spiritual. Very egocentric. Anything that, like, did not make their ego happy, they ignored. A lot of people don't like being here told that they're actually a bad person. Um, it hurts their ego. It hurts their feelings. You know, it hurts them fully and wholly. And this person didn't want to hear that, so they're like, oh, I'm not a bad person. I'm just, let me make up a, a, a lie in my head and stick to it so that I can be proven like I'm not a bad person. I'm doing these things for an actual reason. Well, you can do that, but the intent, your energy of that lie is seen, is felt by the universe. It's seen in the spiritual courts. It's seen with all the deities that you work with. And, you know, the lower entities are, you know, they'll fuck with you with that. Yeah, sure. They're like, yeah, you're lying about someone. Awesome. We'll, we'll help you work with it, but uh, it's going to cost you type energy. But this person just doesn't care about that. This person, like, they're not spiritual. I don't care if this person says they are or not. This person might make fun of you for wearing bracelets or burning sage or, you know, doing spiritual things, but they're 
they're making fun of you or this is someone that's like spiritual but they're only like they half ass it um they're like yeah i'm spiritual but like um fuck my ancestors for not giving me land and like i'm not gonna say that next one because i don't really want to but like you know fuck god for yada 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 you know bullshit like that just not understanding the full spectrum of it when they don't realize that their ancestors are trying to help them they instead disagree discard them and be like yeah you all just hate me you know the universe hates me god hates me my ancestors hate me they they follow that pathway so then it's like yeah if that's the energy that you're going to give us i i do hate you because that's what that's the only thing you're giving me i can't love something that keeps giving me hate so yes, I'm going to show you hate. I'm going to show you malice and disgust in your life because that's all you're giving us. Because we love you. We love you to give you what you want. And if you're hyper-focusing on the negative and the hurt and the bad and the wham wham poo poo pants, we're going to give you the bad and the wham wham and the poo poo pants. And this person's wang and crying and pooping their pants because they're getting that's all they're getting. And it's like, well, do you want to move on and not get that bad shit? Or do you want to stick with it? This person goes, I want collective to stop being so happy it's like that has nothing to do with you guys everything <laughs> bro someone is like this is crazy but that's how this person is um sucks it like it's not okay to be them i didn't even it's for 30 minutes in i didn't even use this here we're on the ball today listen we're back in action always and forever um Oh, you were already unraveling, too. <laughs> I put my hand on this deck, and I was like, do I want to use it? It's like, yeah, I want to use it. The deck is like, the deck's been calling at me. Someone doesn't think it's fair that they're stuck. Aw. Eight of Swords upright, Justice Reverse. They don't think it's fair that they're stuck. And that you get to move on with the love offer without any conflict. This person feels helpless because they challenge someone. No, this person feels bad because they tried to put you in some comp of comp. So this could be a Gemini, a Leo, a Libra, an Aries. Let me get the signs out. Heavy on the Leo or Pisces that was trying to challenge or battle you for your emperor. And they don't think it's fair. that you know it's like someone wanted you to feel like this information was overloading to you someone wanted you to think that your gifts were too much for you to bear <sighs> so that you wouldn't go down a certain path without your emperor they it's like someone was trying to like make you feel like you couldn't go down a certain path and it was too hard and thank you angels and sisters for being here i feel your presence they're like putting their hands on me because i'm i'm getting it out the hierophant god someone's traditional beliefs is what has them in a miss <laughs> That's not funny. Someone's traditional beliefs system has them misaligned, and that's why they're having a broken home or a broken marriage. Queen of Cups reverse, Queen of Pentacles reverse, lying, unemotional, emotionally unavailable, insecure, codependent, imbalanced, um, not very stable mentally or emotionally, spiritually not good either. But they wanted you to feel like you... We're on you were doing the wrong thing because you don't have a relationship and you didn't talk to someone for two days and instantly get married to them, so you're doing it wrong. Okay. Tell me tell me that whenever ten years pass and you're already wanting a divorce, but you decide not to because you don't have a prenup and you'd rather not lose like almost all of your belongings. Hit me back up when that happens, okay? I'll be here. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, this bird. I'm dumb. This I, with the Queen of Wands reverse too. Empress reverse. <laughs> Energy. The Four of Wands reverse. They're very imbalanced. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. I'm sorry. That was funny as fuck. But this person's <laughs> imbalanced in a really disharmony, disharmonious, inharmonious. There we go. Not disharmonious, inharmonious relationship, or just in generally just very disabled. Because they wanted to get married for money, they were doing it for money and like codependent reasons ew could be a Capricorn 
A Crapicorn. Oh! Ligo, Virgo with the King of Pentacles reverse. Well, I mean, there you go. King and Queen of Pentacles reverse. The Queen of Pentacles has a few shit behind her, though, but, you know, who cares? But they make a good couple. At least, you know, it's a good karmic relationship sticking it. I mean, they... Yeah. These people could be swingers. Uh, there could be a lot of love affairs happening. I'm also getting the energy of someone was, like, trying to... Get you to fight for someone by intentionally showing someone less love or intentionally blowing them off so that you could be like hey don't you think don't you know that so-and-so doesn't really like you and then to them be like oh what do you mean and then you explain to them what's going on um and then they'll be like oh my god no i never knew that and then you go but i really like you and i wouldn't do that and then like that's how they wanted their relationship to be Yeah, <laughs> someone's reevaluating their decisions because they uh, are in spiritual poverty while you're re recovering from being left out in the cold. You had, yeah, you you got you were put to the test. Um, that's why you're getting your power back. You are the wounded warrior. You stood the test of faith. This test of times is what's really playing in my head right now. The story of Job is really big and coming through as well. Yeah, with the Ten of Pentacles upright. Yeah, someone didn't think that... Yeah, someone was disregarding your skills. Someone didn't think that you could work uh, efficiently. And then you proved them wrong. You had you took your control back with the chariot, and you listened to your intuition to leave someone behind. Uh, you knew that some sort of outcome was going to disappoint you, and you chose not to take anything from the past, which is why you're moving forward. I mean, shit, you not that was your test. Are you going to move forward or hold on to the past? And you said you're going to work on yourself very hard and move forward, so you could control your life again. Yeah. In the past, you would have took a leap to, like, hold back um, from doing something. And that's the truth. But you found, like, you you did it. Like, you, you move forward very gracefully. And someone can't stop you. It's something about you knowing the truth. It's like someone's scared because you know the full truth, but you're not saying everything that you know and that's why they're if you have a channel that's why they're watching you they want to find out how much you actually know um but you know a lot more than they think you know and they're watching waiting for you to say certain things um and whenever you do it like gobsmacks them and they go oh, we have to do more spell work because they that means they know but you've always like you just know this it so that's why someone's like addicted to doing spell work on you because they can't stop. I'll keep checking my sage if I need to replace it because it had some black smoke when I lit it. So I'm kind of like doing more cleansing. It's the first time it's happened though. So, you know, some just some negativity sleeped in today. That's okay though. Let me cleanse that shit out real good. But someone like wants to keep doing spell work on you so that you're deaf and blind and, and mute to all this yeah it's like the see no evil hear no evil speak no evil uh but instead of it being evil they don't want you to speak love and light see love and light or or hear love and light they want you to see just destruction and lies around you because their life is becoming destruction and lies and they don't want to seem like their life is a lie um, to other people. So they're like doing this whole charade thing where everyone's delusional except for them. Ooh, stuck in a past cycle with the world reverse. Yeah, they someone doesn't think it's fair that you recovered. Someone doesn't think it's fair that you recovered from heartbreak. Oh no, that sucks to be them. Empress Reverse. I told you. I knew she was in here. Isn't that right, Spirit? Not the smoke dancing after I said that. Let's go. Yep. 
You passed the test. Ace of Swords, Nine of Wands. Good job. You passed the test. Two yeses. Double yes. Sagittarius Libra energy. You passed the test. You did it. You had the courage. You were persistent. You had the resilience of everything. I, I just heard the fly like a bird, fly sting like a bee. You did it yourself. The test of faith that you went through. You found your truth. You had your breakthroughs. You have mental clarity. You have raw power. You might even have the power of raw for some of y'all. Uh, and you fucking case closed is what I'm hearing. Case closed. I love this so much for you all. But the truth is, it's like someone's needs to, someone's, like, someone's test is surviving the truth. Um, someone doesn't like the truth. Truth hurts them because they lie. <laughs> uh, I can dude I don't know this energy today is just so funny and giggly so I'm happy also here y'all this it's like look how many okay look look how many of these things are in it there's 20 of them in each of these it didn't cost that much you can get it on Amazon um I think it costs like seven dollars or something like 15 total for like shipping for like two day shipping <laughs> If you need sage um, and you don't like having the big bundles, just buy those. Um, from personal experience, they work like a charm. So yeah. Plus, I mean, you know, I, I like helping y'all out. Um, I care about you all and I love you all to the moon and back. I really do. Um, I know a lot of people say I love you and it's like some people hear it from a lot of people and then they hear it from people that hurt them and they think it's like a watered down like oh you don't really love me but no there are people out here that really love you the ones that tell you the truth the ones that like don't sugarcoat things for your feelings they love you the most um i learned that um i had to learn that because when you tell yourself things you don't sugarcoat it you know because you love yourself you're like yeah they were a piece of shit to me no one else would really say that to you unless they really loved you um, no, it doesn't, some people don't know how to say things to certain people, and that's perfectly fine too, but love is such a powerful emotion that you would know, like, hey, I'm looking out for you, I don't think so-and-so is good for you, I'm telling you to drop them because I'd rather not see you get hurt. Um, you know what I mean? So, I do love you, remember that love is all you need, and please don't look back on these people that lie to you, try to tear you down, make you feel a certain way because they don't love you. Um, this could be, this is, you know, could be family, could be friends, you know, ex-lovers, you know, maybe even a current lover for a select few of you that this resonates with, but they don't love you. Um, at least the way that you'd want them to. So... You know, pat yourself on the back, take it like a champ, and just move on. They'll, you'll be fine. They'll be fine. Everyone made their choice. Don't. I know you got a big heart. I'm talking to someone right now, like straight up. I know you have a big heart, and I know that it's like you want to help these people out. They don't want your help, and they proved it. Just leave them. Do you know what's going to help them more than anything? You know who can? God. The karma that they're going to receive, the fact that they're going to have to understand the consequences of their actions need to be paid, that's who's going to help them. The wheel turning is what's going to help these people. So don't go out of your way to help someone that doesn't want help. Because you'll only get yourself hurt. And you won't have anyone to blame but yourself. So don't, don't put yourself in those types of situations, please. And always just move forward. Um... I love you all so much. I really do. Um, I just felt like that was important to get out as well. Because a lot of this karma that's going to hit these people is not going to be pretty, obviously. And it's going to really show you who was there and who wasn't there.
I just got flashbacks to something like really bad. I'm sorry. Um, I remember because this happened like a few months ago for me. Um, I was when it was when I was um, getting back out into the public. Um, I remember I was trying to talk to someone and this person gave me the evil eye uh, face to face and I was very confused and concerned and a few days like a week later or so it turned out that person like died um, and I've, they were doing like witchcraft on me for a while um, I felt it on their energy whenever I was trying to talk to them but um, those things happen and there were a lot of people that were connected to that person that I deemed were friends uh, or deemed close or deemed that people that I wanted to get to know and that made me rethink a lot of things um, but the moon reverse yeah the the moon reverse this is no this is death reverse yeah um, this is death reverse excuse me so don't be scared of change but I, I just got that flashback like because I'll never forget it it was very surreal um, to have that happen um, God will definitely show you what the fuck's up um, and it, you know oh, I don't, I don't even want to be talking about it I've, I feel I feel I know I'm, I'm done <clears throat> but because that wasn't that wasn't a entity or anything that was definitely like a higher being being like hey um but the nine of pentacles diverse the seven of pentacles upright and the ace of wands yeah <sighs> yeah don't go back because these people just want to stop you from cultivating on things that you enjoy doing they want to they want you to be stuck in the past you know, they've already made their mind up for what's going to happen to them, um, and they refuse to change. So you, you change. They're not the same person. You're not the same person. These people want you, don't want you to leave so they can sabotage you and stab you in the back so they can call you crazy again. But you don't deserve to be in any sort of conflict. This black magic, this energy that they've sent out is coming back to them. Don't stand in the way. Don't stand in the way. Yeah, because it's coming and no one's can no one can stop it. All those dastardly deeds are coming out. Someone just wants to control you. Really bad. Because they want you to feel like your wins are lackluster. They want you to feel like just because you got to win and you 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 passed your test that makes you like an outcast or something they you don't belong with some of these people let them loose let them go um there's nothing that they can do damn to redeem themselves they're gonna suffer but you don't deserve to suffer anymore is what i'm hearing so let it let, let things just happen the way they're supposed to happen. Conflict. Yeah, someone cannot escape this conflict. Someone's gonna have to restabilize themselves while going through conflict the same way as you did, which is gonna be very hard. The Fool and the Tower Reverse, you made the right choice, is what I'm picking up. The Fool and the Tower Reverse, you took a leap of faith to, to start over, to build up again, to I keep hearing resistant to change, but then it changes to revert to staying stagnant with the Queen of Pentacles reverse and the King of Cups reverse this Queen of Pentacles reverse, this King of Cups reverse do not want you to put any more effort into your life. This King of Cups, if you go back to this King of Cups, or this Queen of Pentacles, whichever this, whoever they are, they are going, look, they even, they flipped, I don't know how they did that. 
I was just holding them. But you're gonna, they're gonna tag team you again. They're just gonna continuously tag team you and make you put no work in anything. Everything that you do to the, with these people or around these people, they're gonna make feel lackluster because they don't want you to feel good about yourself. Yeah, they want you to feel bad. They want, they want to keep you stuck in a past paradigm. So bad, so so bad. Yeah, but they can't. They can't make this offer to you because you're not scared. So don't be scared. Keep moving forward. The fact that you're not scared is saving you. Don't be scared. These people can't do shit to you. Their wishes are being unfulfilled. They don't have faith. They're trying to ruin yours, Empress. Stay in this energy. This is you. The devil reverse. Release these people, dude. And release them fucking quick. Okay? Cut these contracts. Literally, cut these contracts. Decline them. Empress, you moved. It moved a little bit off the deck, but cut these contracts out. You don't need them. You know? Claim claim dominion over your life. You don't need these people. You're the sole proprietor. Uh, you're the sole owner of of all your things no one has any power over you over your life or none and send that power if you need anyone to have that power at all let that power be jesus christ and god all right let your let the higher ups handle the things of the unknown give that power to the higher ups to your higher beings of, self, of, of love and protection so that you don't have to worry about it because those aren't you know you can't handle it all and that's what I'm, I feel like that's the message. I really do. I think we got it. Uh. So let's see. do these a different way today um i'm just feeling a different way to do it but i love you all and i hope you all are doing good and feeling highly blessed highly favored staying safe out there um living on yourself always um you know all that fun stuff all that fun stuff i say because my brain doesn't want to work Also, someone doesn't think that you should have, um, if you have ADHD, someone's jealous that you have ADHD and that you're able to do these things. Someone doesn't like the fact that you have some sort of quote unquote handicap, um, that should prevent you from doing certain things, but it doesn't. It makes them feel weird. Someone also is jealous that, like, you don't have to do anything to, like, People love you. You don't have to act cute. People just think that you're cute in general. And that pisses this person off beyond. Um, it could, their name could be RJ or, G, or G, like a junior of the family or something. But they're pissed off because like you don't have to. Tr it seems, you know, you're the golden child. You don't have to try much to do something. And this person has to try so much to be noticed by anyone. Which is sad, but like that's how this person feels. Um, we're, we're almost done. Wow. This could be a Virgo I'm talking about, or you could be a Virgo. Virgo anywhere in the chart, y'all know how it is. Okay, well, all you wanted to fall out. Cool. <laughs> time. All right. Yeah, the time is right. For so I just heard to come for something to come to an end. So this is the time is right for something to fucking end. 
yeah. This entity attachment that a Capricorn is sending to you uh, because they're power hungry is getting karma, divine feminine. I'm 44, you're a great teacher. Your shine is beautiful. Someone can't let you go, and so it is. This person also can't try again, because you're a free spirit. Bay leaves are important. Shit, thank you, spirit. I was burning one earlier. I would do it again. They're about to lose you, and they're confused. Why? Why? Ah! We have Q. Get some rest and look forward. This doodle bob has an entity attachment. Damn. Could be a cancer. That's a doodle bob. They're not sneaky. The time is now for your money to come up and increase. So let's go, y'all. This moon medic's going back on this cult and coven. G. They don't love themselves. You're an idol. These people's dreams are not coming true. They have a distorted view on how you're able to create things. I just heard balance out your chakras. A sacral, a heart, and a root chakra. So that was sacral, but we have red light. Someone's being stopped and it's they're not safe. Don't look back. Pay attention to the angel numbers that you see. I cleanse your energy. T, someone could be in the IT field. Give me a second. You're out of this world. Death is coming to a Leo. Yikes. Hey, it's burning white. Let's go. Energy's cleansed. Let's go. Yeah. Someone has sloth, which is why they're not getting money. I was looking at it. I was trying to find out if the money sounds were up or down, and they were down. Cycle is over. T. Yeah, Gemini is playing. It was playing games with you on the new moon because you're innocent. You, did, you weren't lying about anything. This person does not have a soul. Justice and judgment is here on a fire sign because they're not backboned. It's out of control. Their ancestors, your ancestors are here to protect you and to give some people some ass whoopings too. Uh, your Talu chakras aligned. You have a good personality and you, you have a personality. She's mad as fuck as, at an air sign or air signs pissed off uh, because what they're doing on the full moon is already backfiring on them on an Aquarius or to an Aquarius to cleanse your energy. P is that Kyle is here to here, here to help you transmute. Thank you, Zad Kyle. Zad Kyle coming in to transmute this shit. That's so funny. So whatever the fuck they're planning to do on the full moon is already backfiring on these people. Um, what is today? I don't know. The full moon's on the third twenty third. I'll say that much. That's all I know. It's the twentieth. What the fuck am I talking about? It's four twenty today. The fuck. It's 421 when you see this. So on the full moon, that shit's already going back on him. It hasn't even happened yet. But the energy's ramping up. Three days before, three days after. Remember that. Personal protection. You got it. Oh, they don't care. Haha, <laughs> LOL. Okay. Why? They don't care why you're relaxed. Yeah, why you're relaxed. Jesus, man. Joy, I feel, is here to give you joy. R is emotionally abusive to G, Z, U. Uh, a, we have spirit, crown chakra, you have all the connections that you need to, the divine, you're good. Someone's crazy or going crazy to snake because they're being exposed, I, I heard Ian, Isabel, Azilia, we have I, A, spell works going back, laugh a bit, someone's word magic's not working, someone could have made an AI to spam word spells in your chat okay this person's on no yeah no return for this distorted masculine this is an important message is here about you taking the right turn c e but at what cost libra there's not a karmic in the way anymore she set him up okay no more blockages sent from a Taurus, or Taurus no more blockages, so you can stay calm. Sagittarius took the L because they're a smartass, lol. <laughs> Not a smartass Sagittarius taking an L. That sucks. 
Their initials could be L2, but I just love taking it, taking the L. They're acting a full H, can't divination spy on you. Oh, you can relax. M, chaos magic. Someone's doing chaos magic because they're not in their life purpose or to take you off your life purpose. They may be doing some sort of sacred dances to stop your money. That ain't shit ain't gonna work. Capricorn, earth sign, distorted earth sign, has addictions. They're a Debbie Downer. 22 year master builder and the truth is being exposed about these rumors. You can do recce. Someone can't hold on anymore and they're pissed off. They can't even meditate. You have a, do you have soul ties and a new contract with maybe a Taurus? Either way, this mirror magic is going back on these people. Thank you, Zach Kyle, for being here to transmute all this stinky, winky energy. Thank you, Drive for me giving it joy. Thank you. It's literally that's literally what we want to see. That's literally what we love to see. Transmuting the dark into light, baby. That's what that is right there. Transmuting hate into joy. And catastrophe and uh, and the funny jokes. Y'all are going crazy. <laughs> you didn't see that. You didn't see that at all. I don't care. <sighs> uh, we have Hedgehog, which is trust. This is a reminder that even if you feel that others do not understand you or get you or get what you're doing, it is no excuse to curl up and hide. Sure, you may need a little bit of space right now, but the world needs your gifts. You are more than worthy. Frog, which is transition. This is a powerful time of change. You are being called to connect with the world of emotions and feminine energies. You may also need to engage in a process of cleansing, whether it's physical, emotional, or spiritual, or energetic. Decisive action with antelope. You are being told unequivocally that it is time to get moving. Set your intentions and, and take action towards making your dreams a reality. You have a door right in front of you. Trust your instincts here. Giraffe, which is reflection. You are, If you are facing a difficult situation, do not rush into making a decision. You are advised to turn to the problem. Turn the problem around in all possible manners before deciding on a solution. Your circumstances need to be examined carefully. Wolf, which is inner strength. You may be facing a challenge you feel less than prepared for. This is a reminder that you have all the tools in your spiritual treasure chest to handle this effectively. Take a step back and try to take a look at it with fresh eyes. Fox, with opportunities. You must be quick to move out of your comfort zone, especially when the situation calls for immediate responsiveness and flexibility. Open your mind to new ways of doing things. Once you do, get ready for good luck and opportunities to come your way. Tiger, which is patience, you are being reminded that persistence is what's necessary to attain your goals. You need to be patient and trust that the universe will help you through your challenges in divine timing. Success is guaranteed. Butterfly, which is metamorphosis, pay attention to the areas in your life or personality that are in need of profound change or transformation. You're about to enter a phase of expansion and growth which will be highly beneficial for your future. Jaguar, which is growth. Maturity is the ability to embrace change, and change cannot happen without death. This death does not necessarily mean physical death, but it could be the ending of a relationship, a situation, or simply to your decision to not continue with the same old habits. Sheep, which is innocence. You are encouraged to reconnect with your inner child in order to become more spontaneous and playful, and consider what life has to offer with a greater sense of wonder. Take some time this week to get in touch with the innocence and vulnerability in you. Whale, which is communication, you are encouraged to communicate clearly from your heart. Bridge any gaps that are keeping you from connecting deeper with your loved ones. It is important to speak your truth with emotion, vulnerability, and power. Last but not least, we have Scorpion, New Beginnings. You are invited to instigate change, but you are also being warned that this transformation may be radical. Get rid of everything in your current life that can prevent you from improving. Based on this principle, destroy the field or building, you are promised a beneficial rebirth. Period.
Let's see. Angel prayers. Let's go. I want to take you out, but you're not letting me, child. <laughs> okay. Cool. Alright. Y'all are acting funny. I love it. So first off, we have Synchronicity. Thank you, Angels of Choice, Roll, Time, Guidance, and Signs. Count your blessings. Thank you, Universe and Angels, for the blessings in my life. Trustworthy friends. Thank you, Angels, for surrounding me with people I can trust and love. Transformation with Archangel Zadkiel. Thank you, Zadkiel, for supporting me to transform from my past challenges. Peace and harmony with Archangel Raguel. Thank you, Raguel, for surrounding my life in a harmonious light. Inner voice, thank you angels for guiding me through my inner voice. The inner power with the Divine Father, thank you Divine Father for co-creating my world with me. Spiritual support, dear angels, I allow you to support me as I grow to become more spiritually aware. The peaceful warrior with Archangel Ariel, thank you Ariel for helping me to stand my ground with peace. The unconditional love with the Divine Mother, thank you Divine Mother for giving for helping me to give and receive the love i desire live your joy thank you angels for supporting me as i follow my joy and la oh wait no never mind uh move your body thank you angels for motivating me to move my body and energy and last but not least take a step back thank you angels for helping me to step back from what is not serving me yes thank you all so much for being here um I love you all to the moon and back as always. Thank you all so much for being here, for watching the video. Um, I hope it resonated with you. I hope it gave you guidance, uh, cleared some more air up, helped you heal in any way, shape or form. Um, thank you for all the support, the donations, everything it means the world to me. I love each, I just really do love each and every one of you to the moon and back, I really do. And I'm glad that we're on this healing journey together, growing and evolving on this earth because mama, that's the only thing you can truly do. Um, and I love you all to the moon and back tenfold and forever, and I'll see you later.